Hangman's fracture. Hangman's fracture is a bilateral fracture of the pars interarticularis. The spinal canal is widened and there is a low risk for a spinal cord injury. A fracture usually occurs more due to motor vehicle accidents. Here is the anatomy of C2 vertebra. You have the odontoid process, the body, the spinous process, and the pars interarticularis. C2 is called the axis. C1 is called the atlas. Mechanism of injury. Hyperextension will fracture the pars interarticularis with secondary flexion injuring the disc and the posterior ligament. The patient may have other associated spine injuries, up to 30%. There is a classification for Hangman's fracture, Dr. Levine and Dr. Edwards classification. Type 1 is stable fracture with less than 3 mm displacement and no angulation. The treatment is cervical orthosis. Here is an example of type 1 hangman fracture with minimal displacement. Type 2 is the most common type. There will be significant translation and some angulation. It is unstable fracture. Treatment cervical traction to improve the displacement and immobilization in a halo vest. Type 2A is slight translation but severe angulation. This angulation is seen in flexion distraction injuries with tearing of the posterior longitudinal ligament and the disc. The fracture is unstable. The treatment reduction in extension and compression in a halo. Do not use traction when there is a severe angulation of the fracture. Type 3, C2, C3, facet dislocation. It is a rare fracture that result from initial anterior facet dislocation of C2, C3, followed by extension injury, fracturing the neural arch. It results in translation usually with a bilateral facet dislocation of C2, C3. It's an unstable fracture. Treatment is surgery for reduction of the facet dislocation and destabilization of the injury. We got to know the difference between typical and atypical fractures. The typical hangman fracture displaces the vertebral body anteriorly and its posterior elements posteriorly. This creates increased space for the spinal cord. In the atypical hangman fracture, the line of the fracture leaves the canal circumferentially intact, which puts the spinal cord at risk of injury if displacement occurs. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.